Hello, people of the internet, my name is Combat Wombat, and I'm doing something pretty spicy here today. I'm going to be taking a look at a game that many people, including myself, have said is terrible for a laundry list of reasons. This is the beginning of a series of videos I'm planning on doing where I take a look at a game and see is it really as bad or as good as we thought. And today, that game is Fallout 76. You know, that game that nearly everyone agrees is booty cheese levels of terrible. Fallout 76 has been out for a year, and I haven't played it for a while. Some people have told me it's gotten way better. I'm going into this semi-blind, but expecting it to still be doo-doo. This isn't necessarily a review, more like a quick look into the major issues people have with the game and seeing if there's any real merit to it, or if it's just over-exaggeration. Let's find out. Before we jump into the video, why don't we hear from some viewers who have played Fallout 76 and get their opinions? Well, being perfectly honest, it's... It's like breaking your leg, it slowly gets better over time, but it still just... it sucks. Fallout 76 is the biggest serving of booty salad I've seen in a long time. Fallout 76 is a great game. I don't know what anyone's talking about. No game can do this. One hundred percent quality shit. Oof! Most of you think the game is inside-out sewage water, but hey, some people think the game is alright apparently, so who knows? Alright, let's get started. The intro of Fallout 76 starts out with the same exact text as Fallout 4's intro, the first of many signs that this was a copy and paste job. It's minor, but still noticeable. Then, of course, the first words we hear are... War. War never changes. Thank you! I almost forgot this was a Fallout game. It's not Fallout if you don't start with those words. Even though I don't even know why he's saying it. If you took that line out, the rest of his speech would have made perfect sense. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Feels like they were just checking off a checkbox. Yep. Got the War Never Changes line in there. Anyways, I skipped the rest of the intro because I'm claustrophobic. I then created my character to match the emotions of anyone who pre-ordered the Power Armor edition of Fallout 76 when they could've just ordered a hand-me-down fisting machine instead. I made him dummy thick, then gave him a name that sums up how I feel playing this right now. If you can't tell, I have high hopes for this adventure. I then took a picture of his lovely Gluteus Maximus, grabbed my pip bitch, and walked into the vault's main room. I gotta say, I'm not impressed with the opening section in this game. It may look like I'm rushing through this, but no, you're wrong. The vault section is the one that's rushed. It feels like Bethesda put very little effort into this section. It looks detailed and cute enough, but all it is is walking through the vault to grab some items, then walking out of the most uninspired vault opening in any Fallout game ever. Seriously? That is just a white texture outside, and I didn't even see the vault door open. Lame. Also, you can never re-enter this vault again once you leave. Why? I don't know. Choke. Upon getting my flat booty out of the vault, I ran into this absolute chad outside. He jumped like he was on the moon, which was hot, in a way, if you think about it. I tried communicating with him the only way I know how, and he ran away, just like everyone else. Why did dad leave? After this, I continued into the wasteland. Now we get into the nitty gritty, baby. Right away, you'll notice one of the major complaints about Fallout 76, the performance and optimization. You'll notice all throughout this gameplay that the frame rate is fermented skunk feces. It runs like absolute garbage. It constantly chugged and sometimes it would completely freeze up for a second. Now, I am immersing myself in peasant culture, and I'm playing this on an X-Boner X. Maybe it isn't so bad on PC, but it's terrible here, so those complaints are still valid. Another thing to note about the performance is how terrible the servers are. You'll notice when you shoot an enemy, it takes a full second for the game to register the damage. When looking in containers, sometimes it takes a full second for those to load, and sometimes when you pick up an item, it takes a full second for it to actually be picked up. These may seem like nitpicks, but these are things that really make the game a cumbersome chore to play. And that ain't cool, dog. So I wandered around for a bit, and I killed the first of many Scorched Ghouls. Oh yeah, you know how in Skyrim it felt like every dungeon was filled with Draugr? Well, in this game, it's Feral Ghouls and Scorched Ghouls. That's 99% of what you'll be fighting. 
It's uninspired to say the least. Speaking of uninspired, the combat. Oof! Another major complaint people have is how combat isn't very interesting or fun. And they're right. It's the exact same as Fallout 4, except it runs worse. The enemies in the game aren't very smart. They don't really dodge your bullets or take cover most of the time. They mostly just beeline straight for you, sometimes getting stuck on objects. The Scorched can't shoot straight. At all. They're terrible. Another thing people don't like is Vats. Yeah, Vats sucks major dookie. I have no idea why Bethesda even bothered including it. Oh wait, it wouldn't be Fallout without Vats. Vats is basically just aimbot in Fallout 76. Which is great, because I can't aim for the life of me with a controller, and the frame rate is so bad, it's hard to line up your shots. Look at this tooltip explaining Vats. It even says, no need to aim. They aren't kidding. You could be aiming way off to the right, fire, and still hit your target. One more thing about the combat that sucks dolphin titty is that when you try to change weapons or heal or do anything in your inventory during a fight, you get raffle stomped by any enemies in the area because it's an online game and it doesn't pause. The Pip-Boy works in a single player Fallout because time stops and you're able to navigate the menus in peace. It is nigh impossible to work that kind of inventory system while Mr. Handies are trying to give you a sex change in the background. Anyways, I looked around this random player's house. It was kinda neat. He wasn't there, so I left. That's about all that happened there. I couldn't rob him if that's what you were thinking. The game doesn't let you. Because, you know, that might be interesting and give you a reason to put up turrets to defend your base. I then found the overseer's camp and what a shock! She wasn't there. Who would have guessed? It's basically just an excuse to give the player a bunch of free items for base building and to point you to another location. Oh yeah, now is a good time to talk about the story in Fallout 76, which is something a lot of players dislike about the game, saying it doesn't have much of a story at all. Which, I agree with. So the story of Fallout 76 is that you have to find the Overseer. This is the third game Bethesda has pulled the Find This Person plot with. They've done it with every Fallout. Fallout 3, find your dad. Fallout 4, find your son. Fallout 76, find your vault's overseer. The writers over at Bethesda are really creative. And yes, I know, Fallout New Vegas had you finding Benny. I can see you typing that comment. Don't. I will end you. The rest of the plot basically is that the only potentially interesting part of the game, NPCs, were wiped out by a disease. You learn about said disease, and you also fight a dragon at the end. Or a scorched beast, which has copy-pasted AI from the dragons in Skyrim. So yeah, the story isn't really that great in this game, and it's not really interesting at all if you ask me. I'm not bothering to play through it, I just looked up a plot synopsis. Sue me. It's clear the major focus of Fallout 76 is running around, shooting, and looting. That's it. And God, is that boring. In fact, the game being boring is another major issue players have with the game, and I couldn't agree more. And I already know what you fans of Fallout 76 are gonna say in the comments. Oh, it's more fun with friends, you were playing by yourself. No, I've played this game with my friends, and we were all bored out of our minds. We wanted nothing more than to get off the game. I personally found the shooting and looting focus of Fallout 4 boring. But stripping out every interesting part of that game, like factions, some choices you were able to make, and NPC dialogue, you get Fallout 76. And it's mind-numbing. The bulk of this game is walking around some admittedly well-designed areas for the most part, shooting the enemies that are there, which is mostly ghouls and scorched and a couple of robots, and looting really uninteresting loot. It's mostly just garbage. Literally. You may be saying, but what about the quests? Pretty much every single quest in Fallout 76 is a go here, shoot this, or grab this affair. Fetch quests, essentially. Most of which are given to you when you arrive at a certain location and not by an interesting NPC. There are a few events in which you get swarmed by waves of enemies, but there's nothing Fallout here. There being no NPCs means there's no intriguing decisions or choices to be made. No people to betray or anger. Nothing. It's literally just going somewhere and shooting enemies. I, I almost fell asleep recording the footage for this video, and I literally asked myself, Oh... People play this willingly? For fun. 
How? So, back to the adventure. I continued to the next town the overseer told me to go to, and along the way I saw a Mr. Farmhand. It was red like it was an enemy, and you'll see later in this video that they are hostile, but this one? Nah, he wasn't. He was a chill dude. He was content on just wandering aimlessly. Even when I shot him, he didn't care. In fact, I think it turned him on. So, that's a glitch. Uh, oh! Speaking of glitches, the biggest thing you often hear people say about Fallout 76 is that it is a broken mess and that its glitches have glitches. And that hasn't changed. You got enemies getting stuck on geometry. <laughs> Look at this stupid bitch. You got enemies teleporting around. Look at this mole rat. He was stuck. Then he teleported beside me. What a basic fiend! These two Mr. Farmhands I was fighting glitched out and stopped shooting at me, a classic maneuver, then teleported next to each other just to throw me off or something. Maybe it's intentional. You got enemies that are dead but don't feel like looking dead and are just standing up, dead? I can't count how many times I had enemies just stare at me, much like that Mr. Farmhand from a little bit ago. Look at this! They're supposed to be ground-pounding my salad, but they're not. And you still have T-posing enemies from time to time, a full year after release. My point is, the game is still very much the buggy poop fest you've heard about. One minor thing I would like to highlight about this game that sticks out to me, it doesn't feel much like an online game 99% of the time. Look at this map. You see those white dots? Those are players. You notice anything? Oh yeah, they're all spread out. They're dotted across the map, probably never really interacting with each other. Not very many of them are in groups. It's just people running around, shooting and looting, and questing by themselves for the most part. Most of the time when I did run into a player, they just gave me some ammo and went about their business. I will say that I really like how sometimes you'll see vendors across the maps and it's actual player-made shops where they're selling items they've found. That's awesome! But it doesn't replace NPC shops. Those are better. That brings me to PvP. The PvP in Fallout 76 is still grounded up turd snacks. You basically have to ask for permission to PvP with someone by shooting them. And if they shoot back, you get into a fight. If not, you can't do anything. I couldn't do any PvP while recording this footage because I was locked in pacifist mode because I was a level 1 crook. As you can see, I'm trying to butter this man's toast, and the game won't let me. So, I got desperate, did him some favors, and he rewarded me with some sweet loot. Now I'm really an epic gamer. Speaking of being an epic gamer, you can't be an epic gamer without some EPIC microtransactions. Yeah, the atomic shop is atomic AIDS. Seriously, this stuff would make Gandhi cry. First of all, nothing in this store is worth buying, and it's honestly pathetic that Bethesda is trying. Has anyone actually bought any of this garbage? Like, actually paid real money to get the atoms? This stuff is not worth anything. It's a bunch of skins that are way overpriced. Keep in mind that 100 atoms is a dollar. Most of you are probably saying, Wombat, you chad. You can just complete challenges in the game to get atoms. Right you are. There are daily challenges and weekly challenges. So? You can grind the game to get 20 to 40 atoms per challenge, which to get an 800 atom skin would take you over 20 challenges to get. That doesn't change the fact that Bethesda are greedy hacks who are charging basically $8 for power armor skins and $5 for crappy weapon skins. Oh, $12 for a state of the free bundle. Better hop on those 30 to 40 daily challenges you're gonna have to complete or pay up. You have three days, bitch. I don't see how anyone can defend the atomic shop, especially considering- Oh, would you look at that? Non-cosmetic items you can buy. Hmm, d didn't Bethesda say they wouldn't do that? Oh, but wait. They changed their minds after looking at the data, meaning we aren't making enough money off this game, so expect loot boxes, y'all! Honestly, Bethesda just reminds me of a bum asking for spare change at this point. It's kinda sad. I almost feel bad for them. If their game wasn't shit. So, in conclusion, is Fallout 76 as bad as we thought? It's been a full year after release, but yes. It's terrible for all of the same reasons you've heard about 
since its release. I'm sure some things have been improved, but it's not enough. It's pretty much the same game I played when it first came out. And with Wastelanders, the only DLC that is maybe going to add something interesting being pushed back, it's probably going to be a broken mess, let's be honest. Maybe Wastelanders will be the change Fallout 76 needs. Let's hope so. Because as it is, it's just as bad as we thought. A huge thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon and as a channel member, and a thank you to everyone for lending their thoughts on Fallout 76 at the beginning of the video.